It looks like Disney's MCU is really jumping the shark in every single way. Now they're actually to the point where they're putting up low budget productions in order to just, I guess, cut costs to see if it's going to be profitable because their bigger budget ones earlier didn't really work out so well. People weren't super invested in these Disney Plus shows because they didn't really have that emotional connection to any of these characters because they, they tried to get too off the rails, too arty, too esoteric with what characters they were choosing, and also like too SJW in some of these things too, like you know making Loki into a woman and you know, Hawkeye being replaced by a little girl. Like, I mean, you know, we've been through this in the comics. We know where it ends up. Get woke, go broke. And pretty soon, it ends up being a lousy production every time. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling author, an award-winning comic creator, and I have a Kickstarter coming out next week, Overmind. I'm so excited. We did not skimp on production for this. Quite the opposite. I'm writing a full novel, like an actual like prose novel of science fiction, in conjunction with the graphic novel. If you like comics, that's great. If you like books, you've got something too. If you like both, I'm going to build a beautiful universe for you where it's just going to have a ton of depth, ton of great characters, ton of fun, and it's going to be way better than anything Disney will produce in the next five years. I guarantee it. Check it out. I've got this link in the description. Click this little green spot to get notified on the launch so you don't miss it, and you can get in on this awesomeness. All right. New She-Hulk images are out from the Disney Plus show you can see it's just cheap CGI, cheap setups. Like She-Hulk looks ridiculous in this. Uh, it's I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, they're trying to make this girl look like a weird CGI still in front of a green screen, and that's what she is. It looks like a you know this this image actually looks like you know those Zoom calls where you put the little office in the background or the little house in the background, <laughs> and you move a little bit, and then it kind of kind of glitches out on you. That's exactly what this looks like right here like she like you've just got this like weird cgi about to glitch uh, on you oh my gosh and uh there's some of the uh the nice faces that they're putting in this and oh no oh my gosh is this even like the proportions on this it just looks terrible everything about this looks bad and uh of course they're doing you know she hulk's an easy one to do a strong female whammon lead with where it's just going to be the typical like i'm stronger than all the boys all the boys are dumb. I'm smarter than all the boys, too. And it's just really going to be cringy. Now, She-Hulk actually was pretty interesting. If you ever read the comics back in the day, uh, get the ones by John Byrne. And the fun part about it, it was like the pre-Deadpool. She-Hulk was all about, uh, you know, doing strange things to get her clothes torn off and, and making fun of that, uh, you know, sort of as a trope. Uh, they always call, called John Byrne sexist for that, of course. It was fun. Uh, she broke the fourth wall, so she'd talk to the audience in it, just like Deadpool does. So Deadpool's sort of deal was actually copied from John Byrne's She-Hulk. It was an excellent, excellent comic book, and it's really sad that it's going to be a generic, uh, unfunny Disney Plus show. But the problem is they're not pulling from the John Byrne material. They're pulling from a uh, group, the the Charles Soule and uh, Javier Polito run, uh, which is recent. And what this is, as you can tell, it's ugly art where everything's ugly, so that it's, uh, you know, of course, modern women, because you don't want to objectify women. And uh, a lot of a lot of text and a lot of just sitting around doing mundane things. And that's what they do in these, like, modern comics, where they try to make the supernatural, the interesting, like She-Hulk, uh, into uh, insert them into a normal thing to present, quote, realism. To make it something where they're presenting the ordinary when it should be something extraordinary and them doing extraordinary things. Now... The shows love this, and the reason that the showrunners love this is because they can save on budget by having She-Hulk sitting there sipping coffee uh, at a desk rather than actually doing something interesting and heroic, uh, which actually costs money to shoot and all that. You can tell that they're just going to cheap out every aspect of this. This is going to be CW Disney uh, right here, level <laughs> entertainment, and it's going to be really bad on every level. Super sad to watch that the Disney sh Channel has become this stuff. But I expect it to get worse. Uh, what I expect is because they had too many high-budget shows to begin with that aren't really bringing in the revenue they thought. The budget's going to get cut on these. Things are going to get worse. They're going to cut more corners. And we're just going to see a downward spiral into SJW madness. And when it doesn't work, they're going to blame the audience. They're going to say, you're racist, you're sexist, you're homophobic. And they're going to keep pushing more of the nonsense rather than actually trying to produce good stories 
which all they have to do is just copy the John Byrne run from 1984. Easy, but they just can't do it. They have to go with this Drek because SJWs don't know what beauty is and SJWs don't know what good story is. Oh, well, it's going to be trash, but you knew it. I hope you're hanging out and I hope you're checking out things that are going to be a lot better. Leave a comment down below with you what you think of She-Hulk and what you think of the direction of the MCU. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be back soon.